Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, they have given find an analytic function f of z for which the real part is y plus e power x into cos y. Now, let's take the real part u which is y plus e power x into cos y. You have to find u x which is a partial derivative of u with respect to x. y is treated as a constant, so first term is 0. And here e power x is e power x when we differentiate and cos y is a constant so which is kept as it is. In the same way, let's find u y derivative, partial derivative with respect to y we are going to do. So y derivative is 1 and e power is constant which stays as it is and cos y derivative is minus sin y. Now we are going to find u x of z comma 0. So wherever x is there we have to replace it with z and y we have to replace it with 0 cos 0 is 1 so this is e power z now in the same way u y of z comma 0 we get 1 plus e power z into minus sin 0 sin 0 is 0 so the entire term is 0 we get only 1 and now we know f of z is u plus i v and f dash of z will be u x plus i v x. Now from CR equations, we know u x equal to v y and u y equal to minus v x. So using this, from here v x can be replaced as minus u y. So we get f dash of z will be u x minus i v sorry u x minus i u y and by milne thompson method f of z is integral u x of z comma 0 dz minus i integral u y of z comma 0 dz and we have a constant plus c. Now u x is e power z. So the first term is integral e power z dz minus i integral and this is u y is 1. So 1 dz plus c. So finally we get f of z as integral e power z is e power z minus i into z integral 1 is Integral 1 d z is z and plus c. Thus we got the analytic function f of z.